The real magic of the study of late antiquity itself consists in watching the ancient world of classical Greece and Rome changing under one's eyes, under the impact of new ideas, new religious forces, new horizons. To talk about the Silk Road in late antiquity is not simply to talk about a region in a given chronological period. It's to talk about the last and the most mysterious mutation of the classical world that took place in an environment as distant from the inhabitants of the Greco-Roman Mediterranean as the face of the moon. those outside society who think most clearly about its ills and who bring its tensions most vividly to the surface in dramatic and arresting forms. They contributed in their own way to an imagined victory which ever since that time has placed at the very heart of our modern conscience a model of society divided between the rich and the real poor, in which the rich have a religious and moral duty to support the poor. You mustn't tell the learned men that, but the historian can't help observing. 